Coming up on Hands On Tech, let's take a look at moving recipes to Apple Notes. Stay tuned. This is Twit. Hello and welcome to Hands on Tech, or welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you for joining me this week. Uh, This week, we have a question that's come in from Wayne. Wayne writes in to say, I have been using notes on my iPhone that syncs to the Mac to copy recipes from Apple News, etc. The plan was to use bbedit to copy slash reformat the recipes into HTML using a template that I have. Obviously, I'm way behind. I was figuring I could use Automator to copy the title to the top of the HTML template, copy the ingredient list to below the first table, and the direction list to the middle HTML direction list. As things turn out, Automator doesn't access notes. Sigh. So uh, Wayne says, any thoughts? All right. So when it comes to sort of getting these notes into your uh into your, rather getting these recipes into your notes app, right? There are obviously multiple ways to do this. You can simply just hit the share sheet, tap on the notes app and boom, uh, that information will be posted into a, a new note. But it sounds like what you're trying to do is format these recipes as you keep them stored in the notes app. And you were kind of using BB edit as a go between, right? To, to make this happen. I think there's a better go between when it comes to organizing and storing your recipes. And that is an app that is purpose built to format recipes. And the good news is there are many options out there. I am going to mention Paprika, uh, which is available in the app store as, as the one option for you. But there are so many recipe apps out there. Crouton is another great choice. Rosemary Orchard of iOS today talks about Crouton a lot. Um, And these apps are going to provide you, I think, Wayne, with what you're looking for, which is a really well formatted recipe. So when you mentioned Apple News, uh, this is actually a relatively new, very new feature in Apple News that now there are uh, very sort of sort of perfectly crafted, uh, specifically built for Apple News recipes. So there's a whole new kind of section segment of Apple News that involves recipes. So you've probably gone on there, found some that you are really into, want to check out, and you have added them uh, to your notes app. And it's been complicated thus far, right? So what I recommend doing is getting a recipe manager like paprika like crouton and using the share sheet to share it to that app once it's been shared to that app paprika will properly format the recipe it will go to those sites that have the huge paragraphs of text before you actually ever get to the recipe and find exactly what the recipe is find exactly what the instructions are and then format it in a way that makes sense that makes it easy to understand that makes it easy for you to uh, create your recipes after that you can take those recipes and export them and then what do you do you pop them into notes or you pop them into BB edit or you, wherever you want to put them. And by doing it that way, you are getting a much better experience of, of getting those formatted exactly how anyone would expect a recipe to be formatted in the first place. Uh, the good news is paprika is available also on the Mac. So you can pull it up on Mac OS if you prefer to do it that way. And it syncs with iOS. So, You pop that recipe from Apple News into Paprika on your iPhone. Your iPhone syncs with your Mac. It syncs with Windows. It syncs with Android, wherever you are. And then you can pull it up on your Mac and put it wherever it is that you're looking to put it. So this, I think, is going to be a much easier process than trying to use BB Edit to reformat the recipes in a way that you want them. Um, And then also... The app has a great printing feature that lets you create PDFs of your recipes or to actually print them out. And it does it in the format of, uh, you know, a, a normal size U.S. letter piece of paper or in little index cards. So I think that this is going to be a better way to pull off what you are looking for as opposed to uh, the current process that kind of has a tool that's not 
purpose built to format recipes specifically in between. Uh, so Wayne, thank you for taking the time to write in with your question. As always, I encourage you, uh, if you are unsure uh, of, of the kind of answer that I've provided, or if there are other questions that you have, you can always get in touch uh, and we can figure out some other steps to take uh, to, to get to an answer and a solution that works for you. Uh, I want to remind everybody out there who's listening, uh, if you are not already a member of Club Twit, that we have a club. Uh, for just $7 a month with a two-week free trial to kick things off, you can join the club at twit.tv slash club twit. Would love to see you in the club. You gain access to every single one of our shows ad-free, just the content, access to the members-only Discord server, access to the Twit Plus bonus feed, plus so much more. Twit.tv slash club twit is where you go to check that out. $7 a month after a two-week free trial. And I look forward to saying hello to you in the club. Thanks so much. Uh, that is going to bring us to the end of this episode of Hands On Tech. If you have questions that you need answered, hot at twit.tv is how you get in touch with me. That rhymes. So maybe it'll be easier for you to remember. Thank you. And I will catch you again next week for another episode of Hands On Tech. Bye-bye. Business leaders need clear insights into both the Apple and Microsoft ecosystems to stay competitive. That's why we provide expert-led coverage on both. With Twit's Mac Break Weekly, iOS Today, and Hands On Mac, you'll get the latest Apple updates, productivity tips, and innovation insights. Meanwhile, our Windows Weekly and Hands-On Windows shows deliver the newest developments on Windows, Xbox, and more. Tune into Security Now for essential cybersecurity strategies for both companies. Gain comprehensive tech insights across platforms at twit.tv and always stay ahead of the curve.